STS-49 was the maiden flight of the Space Shuttle Endeavour. The primary goal of its nine-day mission was to retrieve an Intelsat V satellite Intelsat 603, which failed to leave low Earth orbit two years before, attach it to a new upper stage, and relaunch it to its intended geosynchronous orbit. After several attempts, the capture was completed with a three-person extra-vehicular activity EVA. This was the first time that three people from the same spacecraft walked in space at the same time, and as of 2014 it was the only such EVA. It would also stand until STS-102 in 2001 as the longest EVA ever undertaken. Topic Crew Topic Spacewalks Thuat and Heeb, Eva One Eva One Start, the tenth of May, one thousand nine hundred ninety two to twenty forty Coordinated Universal Time Eva 1 end the 11th of May 1992 to 023 coordinated universal time duration 3 hours 43 minutes Thuat and Hebe Eva 2 Eva 2 start the 11th of May 1992 to 2105 coordinated universal time Eva 2 end the 12th of May 1992 to 235 coordinated universal time duration 5 hours 30 minutes Thuat Hebe and Acres Eva 3 Eva 3 start the 13th of May 1992 to 2117 coordinated universal time Eva 3 end the 14th of May 1992 to 546 coordinated universal time duration 8 hours 29 minutes Thornton and Acres Eva 4 Eva 4 start the 14th of May 1992 tilde 2100 coordinated universal time Eva 4 end the 15th of May 1992 tilde 5 o'clock coordinated universal time duration 7 hours 44 minutes topic <laughs> crew seating arrangements topic <laughs> <laughs> mission highlights The Intelsat 603 satellite, stranded in an unusable orbit since launch aboard a commercial Titan III rocket in March 1990, was captured by crew members during an EVA extravehicular activity and equipped with a new perigee kick motor. The satellite was subsequently released into orbit and the new motor fired to put the spacecraft into a geosynchronous orbit for operational use. The capture required three AVAs, a planned one by astronaut Thuat and Hebe who were unable to attach a capture bar to the satellite from a position on the RMS, a second unscheduled but identical attempt the following day, and finally an unscheduled but successful hand capture by Thuat, Hebe and Akers as Commander Brandenstein delicately maneuvered the orbiter to within a few feet of the 4,215 km kilograms communications satellite. An assembly of station by EVA methods ASEM structure was erected in the cargo bay by the crew to serve as a platform to aid in the hand capture and subsequent attachment of the capture bar. A planned EVA also was performed by astronauts Thornton and Akers as part of the ASEM experiment to demonstrate and verify maintenance and assembly capabilities for space station freedom. 
The ASEM space walk, originally scheduled for two successive days, was cut to one day because of the lengthy Intelsat retrieval operation. Other payloads of opportunity experiments conducted included commercial protein crystal growth (CPCG), ultraviolet plume imager (UVPI), and the Air Force Maui Optical Station (AMIS) investigation. The mission was extended by two days in order to complete all the mission objectives. The following records were set during the STS-49 mission. First flight of the shuttle Endeavour First EVA involving three astronauts Second and fourth longest AVAs to date, 8 hours and 29 minutes and 7 hours and 45 minutes. Longest EVA to date was during STS 102 in 2001 to 8 hours 56 minutes. Third longest EVA was during STS 61 in 1993 to 7 hour 54 minutes. First shuttle mission to feature four AVAs. The second longest EVA time for a single shuttle mission, 25 hours and 27 minutes, or 59 to 23 person hours, the longest is STS-61 with 35 hours and 28 minutes. First shuttle mission requiring three rendezvous with an orbiting spacecraft. First use of a drag chute during a shuttle landing. Topic: Wake up calls. NASA began a tradition of playing music to astronauts during the Gemini program, and first used music to wake up a flight crew during Apollo 15. A special musical track is chosen for each day in space, often by the astronauts' families, to have a special meaning to an individual member of the crew, or in reference to the day's planned activities. Gallery See also List of human spaceflights List of Space Shuttle missions Nikon NASA F-4 Outline of Space Science Space Shuttle <laughs>